the weather is inclement, it is bitterly cold and it could rain soon. There's already been snow in parts of the state. So I thought, what could I achieve if I operated portable under this bridge? On the right is a road bridge, on the left is a railway bridge. I'm short distance back from the beach, but luckily there's this fence with an upright that I can tie my squid pole to. So I've just got the squid pole here on the bike. I'll set it up and see if my signal can get out from this very compromised location. Possibly about half the squid pole will be underneath the bridge and the other half will be sticking out the top. On the air on 21 megahertz and didn't take long there was a reply from VK2 triple P. I should mention that we're a little bit below ground level ground level is about there. Band conditions seem to be reasonably good especially towards the north which you'd expect at this time of day on 21 megahertz. It's 0445 UTC, which is just before 3 p.m. Now some DX JA7NUM. It's given me quite a good minus eight report. After 15 motors, I went to 12 motors and then 17 motors. No luck there, but on 20 metres, a reply from VK2WA. I had my three first contacts fairly quickly, but then there was half an hour without any at all. I'm on the southern side of the river's bank, and for me to contact Long Path to Europe, it's a very unfavourable direction in that way. So what I will do is I will go to the other side where you might be able to see that there's a wall there. I can set up a similar antenna over there and hopefully that will give me some more contacts, possibly long path into Europe in that direction. Just bearing in mind this is just a narrow river, it's fresh water, not salt water, but still as we're not firing through so much ground, I may have better prospects over there than over here. Well, I spoke too soon. Just got a call from W6RKC. I spoke too soon. Just got two calls from the US on 18 megahertz. And as you can see, just completed a contact with W6RKC then in quick succession in a 6JD. I have no way of knowing, but I'm guessing this is a short path contact into the United States, and if so, it would be in about this direction. So reasonably favorable from where I'm sitting. When you've got an opening, you might as well take advantage. A bit like fishing. And more luck this time with JA, JA9CEI. Still haven't moved, but here's a call from Spain. EA1SAL. 
took a while but a completed contact eventually. Well I did make it to the other side of the bridge but it's wet and leaky so I went home instead. Overall, eight contacts in one hour and 15 minutes. Mostly on 17 meters, which came good later on, but initially 15 meters. Let's have a look at PSK Reporter. Uh, first of all, 10 meters. I wasn't on this band for very long. Uh, received in Japan by one station, a couple of others in Southeast Australia. So not much there. 12 metres, a bit better, uh, a lot more in Japan. Uh, wasn't on there for very long either. Didn't have any contacts on 12 metres. 15 metres, which is where I was at the start. Uh, that was successful. Um, although there's quite a few reception reports in the US, and even one looks like around Turkey. Uh, the only DX contact I had was Japan. Uh, 17 meters, which came good for me uh, later on. Uh, lot, lot into the US is a minus 10 dB, minus 12 dB, um, a minus 11. So that was good for both reception reports of me and also contacts. Also, a Europe is represented, uh, not very strong. There's a minus 24 dB there uh, in Spain and Japan and uh, New Zealand. So overall, 17 meters was the best band. 20 meters, I had one contact there. Um, in the United States, minus 21, minus 24, not very strong there. Um, so I wasn't on 20 meters for very long. 30 meters only put out a few calls and just some reports in Southeast Australia. So uh, no contacts there. So it was mainly 15 and 17 meters. So to summarize, operating under a bridge it's not a bad choice, especially if the alternative is not operating at all due to inclement weather. Enjoy these videos? Want to start in amateur radio? Well, check out my books, Ham Radio Get Started for USA readers and the Australian Ham Radio Handbook for those in Australia. For more information, visit my website vk3ye.com or search their titles on Amazon.